Hi, it's Harris Reed, and we're on the set today with 10 Magazine for the fabulous 10 multi-brand shoot, and I'm currently wearing some fucking fantastic Vivian Westwood. Right, Harris, tell us a little bit about working with Ollie from years and years in the Brits. Um, working with Ollie from years and years for his Brit Award look was pretty special. I mean, it was really incredible what he wanted to kind of accomplish and, you know, performing with Elton John and the whole idea of, you know, singing It's a Sin was about bringing, you know, awareness to the AIDS like epidemic and really just showcasing a really beautiful queer kind of, I guess, experience for primetime television. So to be a part of that and to kind of rock a bit of fluidity into that felt really, really surreal and special. Amazing, amazing. Um, how do you keep your Rapunzel locks so Rapunzel-like? Um, I keep my Rapunzel locks so Rapunzel-like. Um, a lot of hair masks. Um, I mean, shout out to Josh Wood. They have a great hair mask. But then, honestly, I tell most people, like, if you don't have a lot of money, like, tons of olive oil, tons of coconut oil. I do a lot of, like, hair masks, vacuum the house, clean. Um, and then you just take a shower and it looks great. Love it, love it. You don't show makeup line with Mac this year. What's the must-have beauty product you have in your bag that's going out on a night? Um, I mean, probably a bit cliche, but I do always take my Fighting for the Beauty Fluidity palette, my eyeshadow palette, only because it's like very easy. You can put it on your lips, on your cheeks, and your hair. Um, I like things that are really quick, slip into a blazer pocket, or a jock strap, or a G-string, or like anything cute. So, always with me at all times. <laughs> Aside from Harry Styles and Ollie Alexander, which other gay icon do you want to dress up for the year end? Ooh, um, I think... I still want to, I don't know if Tilda Swinton's a gay icon, but she's my icon, so she, I probably would be the one person I want to dress, especially because that movie Orlando as a child really showed me the beauty and the flexibility within gender and transformation. So for me, she was my queer icon, so I would probably want to say Tilda Swinton. Brilliant. Do you have any tips for spending all day in Fabulous Hills? Um, get over the pink, they fucking hurt, but you look amazing. <laughs> okay. What does fluidity mean to you? Fluidity to me, it means it's really for me a way of life. Obviously there's, you know, gender fluidity and all that, that encapsulates about, you know, not fitting a box, not fitting a stereotype, not fitting to these fucking binaries we make for everyone. But I think more importantly to me, fluidity is a way of living. It's a way that, you know, every day you wake up and you be your most authentic self. You make decisions that aren't like everyone else. You don't follow the social norms. You don't follow the pre-constructed way that you should live. You just kind of own it and be who you fucking are. And that's why I love fluidity because I think it stands for so, so, so much more. Yes, definitely, definitely. If you could only wear one Gucci look for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Um, when I, when, they, when Gucci announced that I was one of the faces of the perfume, I wore this amazing blue fringe lame look, and I probably could live in that to the day I die, because <laughs> you just kept spinning, and it was really fabulous, and like, it felt like, kind of, honestly, like what, wearing like a robe, but a really fabulous, like, you know, six-figure robe. <laughs> <laughs> um, who do you want to go as for Halloween this year, and why? Oh my god, that's such a good question. <laughs> um, it's so funny because I actually wanted to do Cruella de Vil for Halloween before all the press for Cruella de Vil came out for the new movie. So I'm gonna have to think about it. I mean, let's just say Cruella. I think, you know, you could rock some really good fake fur and some good heels. That's a good choice. Um, what has been your most pinch me moment over the past three years? Holy shit, most pinch me moment. I've had a, like, I'm very lucky to have had like quite a few. I'm, I mean, the ones that stand out for me are, oh my goodness. Um, I think one of the most iconic moments, I think, is when I walked my first and only fashion show and I walked out of a 7th, 14th century tomb with walls of fire wow. for Gucci. And the first person I saw as a smoke kid was Sir Elton John and ASAP Rocky was going, go Harris. And that was a pretty surreal moment. I think that was in the past four years. Wow. But that was pretty epic. And then I think anything I've done with Harry, anything I've done like with the brand and the career and being here today, um, those are all kind of pretty cool country moments. Amazing. What's one Harris Reed piece everyone should have in their wardrobe? Shoes. Everyone should have these shoes. They're in collaboration with Roker, but they literally are my ride or die. Where can we get those? You can get these on matches or harrisreed.com. We can custom make them for you. Amazing. <laughs> okay. What's your go-to party trick? Oh my god, my go-to party trick? I mean, if I show you, like, it literally won't be a good trick. <laughs> um, Describe it, if you can, briefly. I'm really good. I used to know all the dance... No, I still do know all the dance moves to single ladies. Oh, so when, yeah. I, when I get really, really... Let's not say drunk, because we're not promoting substance abuse, but, you know, <laughs> it's fashion and we're fabulous. Um, I, like, kill it. I kill it to that song. Amazing. 
What's your hangover cure? Um, Bloody Marys. And last question. Three tips to surviving fashion school. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck what everyone tells you. <laughs> always learn from your mistakes and don't ever let them define you. Um, and always trust your gut, because there's gonna be a lot of people that have opinions of what you should do and who you should be and how you should go about life. And listen, be respectful, take notes, and learn. But at the end of the day, if your gut's telling you something, you're probably right. And if you fail, at least you know that you failed completely being authentically who you are. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Ten.